And welcome to another episode of Kentucky Bird Review. I'm Steel Reserve. I'm Fuzzy. And I'm Radar. And today we have Dark Horse Sapient Trip Ale. It is a Belgian style triple. It doesn't have the alcohol content on it, so that will be down in the description below. I believe this is a non twist top. It is, it, is in, it is, in fact, a non twist top. Let me just grab my keys here. Your keys? You are always the person who's got a uh, an opener on your keys. In fact, excuse me, my carabiner is now my opener. It's true. Amazon.com. Kind of like that. I just need to get like something that opens beers that I can keep with me. Really. Just get a bottle opener, a keychain. I mean, a lighter, a fork. These things all work. Because I invested the time in learning how to open beer with a fork, because that's important. Why'd you invest the time to learn how to open a beer with a fork? Uh, because one Later time days. all I had to have Later to days. open a beer was a fork. Later that days. was all right. important to me. Take a look at it. It's uh, hey, cloudy. Uh, yes, cloudy. Uh, but uh, hey, cloudy. Mm -hmm. That is really... It's almost, it's almost coppery color. That, mm -hmm. is, that is thick. It's got a bit of a sweet... Smell to it. I was gonna say citrusy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. You know what? I'm gonna guess that this is this is nine-ish percent alcohol. Could be. Head went away fast. It smells sweet. It's very thick. These are three things that tell me there's a lot of alcohol in this. Uh, well, shall we? We'll find out later. Let's find out. Cheers. <sighs> Get that citrus taste. A little bit, but you get a you get a uh, really strong roastiness there yes. at the yeah, that as well. Start. Kinda I just I just noticed citrus. Yeah. On the end, is there is there like a date? Is that dates? Nine point five percent. Oh look at me go. We can go to what? I guess so, possibly. I do, there is a, a fruitiness there, but it's very slight, but I can't pin down what it is exactly. It's something. It could. It's something that feels yeah. like it grows in the desert. Anyways. Um, yes, it's brewed with cactus. It's, it's awfully, oh, those are, those are actually delicious. All those cactus type beers are uh, <laughs> actually delicious. Mm. True, they are. Uh, what do you? Uh, what would you rate this, Radar? <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. I feel like this is not an everyday kind of beer. Like no, definitely, it's thick, definitely not. It's thick. It's uh. This beer will make you a man if you drink it too much. Like this beer will make you like. It'll make a man out of you. This beer will make you Gustav. Uh, not in, not even that. It'll make you Gustav. You mean Gaston? Gaston, yes. This beer will make you Gaston. It'll make me eat If five you drink dozen this eggs, on a daily basis, you'll start eating five dozen. No eggs one fights every day. like you. Hope you get large. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a this is a good solid eight beer though. This is really good. All the flavors mesh together really nicely. There's nothing off putting about this. And it's got the alcohol content. It's got, what, nine and a half, you say? Mm -hmm. 300 calories. Ouch. It's a heavy beer. Go away. It's a very heavy beer. It's a good beer. That's what's important to me, anyways. I mean, yeah. yeah. When, I, when I start losing weight, this will become <laughs> an important thing that I pay attention to. But yeah. right now, this is just a really good beer. How about you, Fuzz? Uh... I probably gotta get this a seven. It's one of those, I can drink it, yes. Would I drink it normally on a daily basis? No, but I do have to give it merits for what it tries to do. And this, is, this has this real interesting blend of flavors that to me, it doesn't, my person, it doesn't fit my personal taste, but I'm sure it probably fits someone else's taste for sure. Mostly because I don't like that strong roastiness at the beginning. That I pick up. What about you, Steel? Solid beer. 
It's gonna get a solid score. 7.5. I enjoyed it, yeah. Is this something I would want to drink every day? No. <clears throat> but is this something like if I'm just hanging out with a couple guys and we're just having a, you know, chilling by a fire or something? Oh. Yeah, bust this up. Bust a six pack out of this out, you know. It's a it's it's one of those ones you're gonna take your time drinking. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You don't want to drink it fast. <laughs> so I feel like that would almost be a waste of this beer to drink it real fast. Yeah, of course yeah. it would. But I feel, like I, I feel like all the flavors would just run over each other. Just, yeah. Yeah. You, you gotta you gotta you gotta slow down sometimes and enjoy your beer. Mm -hmm. Of course. And I recommend it. I'm sure you two both do as well. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Too. For sure. All right. Well, that's been our episode. If there's anything you'd like to see, just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Steel Reserve. I'm Fuzzy. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.